All aboard a Mugen train. Shut up and sit down. What's good is a boy dude reviews and heavy spoilers for season 2 episode 2 called Deep Sleep. And what is this episode all about? Well, Rengoku heads to the Mugen train to investigate the disappearance of over 40 passengers and encounters a demon along the way. After saving the people attacked by the demon, he finally arrives at the Mugen train with Tanjiro, Inosuke, Zenitsu and Nezuko. But what lies ahead of him and them? Directed by Toshuiki Shihara? and storyboarded by Takihoro Mura based on the manga by Ko Horhara Gotoji's Kinetsu no Yaiba adapting chapter 54 and 55 and parts of 56 respectively but what do I think about this episode called Deep Sleep well let's talk about the good and of course the animation it's just a no-brainer but this one it's looking like this is definitely using the scenes from the Mugen Train film and yeah, so far the animation looks so rad. When Goku against that two-headed weird demon thing was just epic. That demon just had this terrifying roar and it was just a freaky demon. And it felt like a chilling horror film where it just sort of appeared out of nowhere and it just roared and it was terrifying to just watch. My heart felt for the train conductor dude as he was begging the demon leader to just sort of take him to the place where his dead wife and daughter were just makes you wonder what happened to his family and I kind of want to see that story as well and this is why I love Demon Slayer is that it introduces some side characters and you get a little bit of their backstory and you they're just so damn likable and you just want to see more of them like there could be an entire side story episode with that character. I love the flame animation with Rengoku sort of sword power it just looks beautiful and the 2D animation just it really pops and it's just such a vibrant episode with just epic animations even the demon guy at, towards the end who's on top of the train I forgot his name sorry but there's just certain character motions that he does that if this were like a normal anime he'd just sort of be standing there opening and closing his mouth but UFO table went all out adding that little extra detail and that's what makes the UFO table so special. I love the comedic scenes with Zenitsu, Inosuke and Tanjiro meeting Rengoku and Rengoku eating the bento box from the previous episode. What a guy, what a laugh to be around. What I found interesting with the demon towards the end was that there was a sort of symbol on his eye that said lower key. I'm guessing is he a lower ranked demon of the Muzan Kimbojin troop? Or is he like a lower ranked um, 12 Kizuki? I have no idea, but I'm pretty hyped to find more about who this guy is all about. But probably some of the best scenes or like the highlight of this episode was Tanjiro and falling asleep, going into this dream alternative world where his family are all alive and well and him just running to his brother and sister. He just sort of breaks down and just cries saying how sorry he is, damn dude. That just hit on all levels. So many emotions in this episode, oh my gosh. I wonder who those four children are. Are they part of the demons group or are they just innocent civilians just being caught up in all this mess? Who knows, but next week's episode might explain all of that. And little shout out to that hand animation. The amount of detail that was on that hand was just crazy and the motion and the movement was just so creepy and slimy. It was just damn. Just epic. Yeah, I actually don't have anything negative to say about this episode. It was just so well paced and watching this Mugen Train arc as episodes, it just feels so much betterly paced compared to that movie where it just the pacing just felt off. But when you watch it as episodes, it really works. And I feel like this arc was designed to be watched as a television show. This episode deserves a 10 out of 10 and an A star from me. Go check this episode out right now. It's on Crunchyroll and Funimation on Hulu as well. But thank you for watching this review. Please like and share this video. Comment down below and tell me what was your favorite episode of Demon Slayer Season 1? Should I do a full review of that season? Tell me in the comments down below. But with that said, thank you for watching. And as always, Bored Review signing out.